I've struggled in school all my life, but I've always wanted to be a doctor. I used to always worry about what people thought of me and would try so hard to live by society standards. Then I realized that I was created to be different and regardless of what I did, I would never fit in. So I decided to follow my dreams instead. Join me on this journey as I grow in my faith, go through the ups and downs of pharmacy school, and most importantly, being God's masterpiece. Hey everyone, so in this video I'm going to be addressing an email that I received um, a little while back and I just wanted to come on here to talk about the email and to hopefully share some encouragement to the individual who sent this email. I know I had, I responded to you, but um, I wanted to come on here because I just wanted to make sure everything was okay. I've struggled in school all my life, but I've always wanted to be a doctor. I know I spoke with you about pharmacy, but that didn't work out. Every time I took a step to pursue it, nothing worked out. After university, I thought that I would become a doctor, but it always seemed like that's my only option. As everyone knows, you must be intellectually gifted to be a doctor, which I am not. It's been three months and I've terribly struggled the entire time I've been here. What confuses me is many people I know have applied to this school and got rejected. The first, second, third, and fourth time but I got in with my first try. Um, my GPA is low and my MCAT is low, nowhere near where a doctor's grade should be and I'm pretty sure my interview was horrible. I almost feel like God just wants to humiliate me in the end. I want to do really well, but nothing comes easily to me like everyone else. I guess I'm just asking if you've ever struggled and what you did or are doing to become great at pharmacy school. Wow. Um, when I read this email, I was I was just like, wow, I can relate so, so much. This is literally how I felt my first year of pharmacy school. I just felt like everyone was getting the material and I wasn't getting it. I just felt like everyone was ahead of me and I was constantly comparing myself to everyone and I was just like, why am I not getting it? I felt like I did not have the qualifications to get into pharmacy school, um, but I knew that this is what I wanted to do. So when I read this email, I was just like, Girl, this was me. This was me my whole freshman year. Like, I was struggling. I was like, how? 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 Like, why don't I get this up? And in, in undergrad, I did well. And I was just like, how is this not the same thing? And um, so I just hope that this video can encourage anyone watching who is struggling in school. So I just want to let you know that it is a very natural feeling. Um, I'm not a med student, but I have had conversation with med students and it is difficult. It is hard, especially your first year. And there are going to be students who feel like everyone else is getting the material and they're not. There's always going to be students that feel like they're not good enough. There's always going to be students who feel like they're not smart enough. And it's it's a matter of trying to like silence those thoughts and do what works for you. I feel like a lot of times we try to do what other students are doing that are successful, which is good. Like, you know, sometimes we should take pointers from people who are doing well and see what they're doing. But sometimes it only works for them and you have to figure out what works for you. I was so against group studying when I was in my first year. I was like, nope, I studied by myself. I'll do undergrad, so I'm good. I'm good. Everyone was like, study together. I was like, nope. And when I started studying with my friends, oh my gosh, y'all, my life changed. My whole life has changed. It changed so much because we talked to each other about different processes, about mechanism of actions. And it was just like, oh, the teacher said this. Oh, okay, I have that. I have that. And the teacher said this. We put it all together. We make sense of it. We talk it through. We do practice problems together. Y'all, when I tell you, that changed my life. So, and you know, and, and I didn't know that until I did it. So I know that it's difficult. I know that it's hard. I know that you might be feeling inadequate, you know, especially when you feel like, wow, like God, why'd you put me here and nothing's working out? It's frustrating. Trust me. I know I've been there and I just want to encourage you to know that if God has put a desire in your heart, if God has brought you somewhere, um, you best believe that he's going to see you through. Um, 
I don't want you to think that he's trying to humiliate you. That is not the God, that, at least that I serve. <laughs> um, nowhere does it say that God is the God of humiliation and he would try to humiliate you. Um, but he is our good, good father. And we just have to trust and know that whatever he's brought us and he will see us through um, on his timeline. Know that people don't always want to hear this part, but you know, sometimes things don't always work out how we want it to. So like you're in med school, you would think like, oh, I'm gonna do my four years, be done. Sometimes it takes people five years. Sometimes people have to take a break. Some, like it, the story is different for everyone. And I don't know what the story is for you. And that's a conversation you need to have with God. And sometimes he might not even say anything, but you just have to just trust his plan and just trust that he has good things planned for you. So I really don't want you to be too discouraged or upset or think to yourself like, um, you're not smart enough, you're not good enough. Trust me, I've had all of these thoughts in my head. But what I learned is that when I stopped comparing myself to other students and when I focus on what works for me, figuring out my study habits, figuring out how I learn, that's when I really began to see a difference. Y'all, you remember, like you can look at my earlier videos from my first year of pharmacy school, I was crying. At this point in the semester, I was bawling my eyes out because I was like, there is no way I'm about to pass these classes, okay? And God did it. So I just want you to just, just trust God. I know that it, it seems so much easier said than done and especially when you feel like God is not saying anything or he's silent um but even in that silence God hears you and he's working on your behalf I don't want you to think that just because you're not seeing your grades change just because you're not seeing things get better doesn't mean that he's not working um so to any med students, any pharmacy students who are just feeling really low, feeling really inadequate, feeling like you're not good enough, smart enough, I just wanna encourage you to know that you are good enough, you are smart enough, and you are able to succeed. One part of it says you must be intellectually gifted to be a doctor. Um, no, you just have to be able to work hard. Uh, there are some people that are just naturally gifted and just naturally like smart, like they have photographic memory. That's great for them, but that does not necessarily mean that that's what you need to be a doctor. You need to study hard. You know, there are a lot of people that are geniuses, but they don't have bedside manner. They're not kind, they're not easy to work with. And you have to understand that it's a whole package. So even if you feel like you're not a genius or you weren't born a genius, I don't care. You can sit and you can study hard and you can learn what you need to learn. You can talk through different pathways, especially if this is what you want. If you don't want it, then yeah, it's going to be hard to try to um, push yourself to study because it's not something that you desire. And the only thing I can say is that if you really feel like medical school is not for you and you feel like this is just something that you're not passionate about, then that's a whole different conversation. Then that's where you should revive and be like, okay, I actually don't want to do this. I don't have the passion for it. I don't have the desire for it. Then I don't. I think it's different when it's like you have the desire for something, but it's just like hard and it's like you're not doing well. You're not getting the grades that you want. That's different. You can work on that. If you don't have the desire, you don't have the passion, it's going to be very hard to do that. Think about that. But if your desire and your passion is to be a medical doctor, then I have so much faith in you. But I just want to encourage anyone watching this video to know that you're good enough, you're smart enough, and you're able to succeed. It's going to be hard. You know, it's not supposed to be easy. It's going to be hard. But if this is your passion and if this is what you want, it's going to be okay. And it's going to happen. You will become a medical doctor. Okay? Tell yourself that. Every day in the morning when you wake up, when you're brushing your teeth, when you're washing your face, look in the mirror and say, I will become a doctor. I hope that the individual who wrote this email uh, sees this video and I hope that you are encouraged. I don't know what's happening right now, but I hope th things have gotten a little better. And even, even if they haven't, I just hope that your perspective has changed on everything and that you know that God is not trying to humiliate you. Um, God is your good, good father and he is shaping and molding you and he is preparing a beautiful future for your life. So just trust 
and know that. Um, any medical students who want to share some words of advice, who want to share some encouragement to this person, please comment below. I'm sure that that would be very reassuring and uh, I think that that would be really nice to see other students cheering each other on, um, which really makes a difference. My friends, we, we encourage each other, and when one of us is winning, we're all winning. And we really help each other out, and that makes all the difference. So I hope that um, you all do that, and you can help out this person. Y'all already know the deal, and if you don't, you can comment below or you can email me at behismasterpiece at gmail.com. I hope you have a great day. Go out, be kind, be caring, be loving, and as always, be his masterpiece. Bye, y'all.